In today's video, we will look at automating Arista switches with Python. So what I have is two switches and I'm going to read their IPs from a file. And that file looks like this. Basically two IPs. Make sure it's completely tight. You don't leave extra spaces or lines here. Otherwise, Python is going to give you error. So the 5611 is this guy, switch one. And 5612 is the second switch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to configure. See, it says from Pi. I'm just going to configure the description of the interface. Let's remove this first. No description. Description is gone. No description. Show interface description. No description here. So let's run the script. Python 3, Arista config pi, and I'll show you the Python file. All right, let's see if it did it. Show interface description from pi, it did it. Show interface description from pi, okay. So now let's look at the configuration or the script file. So here's the uh, Python file. I'm using netmiku. And that's the first command that you're gonna put in. And this is assuming you're using Python 3, so make sure you install Python 3 on your Linux, and then simply run the file as I did. You need to import netmiku, and then open a file that contains the IPs for the Arista that I showed you in a read format. And then you put it, and you don't have to, but I'm doing it in a, uh, in a loop. Basically, if you're going more than one switch, you're gonna have to go in a loop. <clears throat> There's different ways of doing this. I'm using a while loop, reading the IP address into a variable called IPA with a command or a function read line. Read line does take the new line into uh, into the read line that you, some people would strip it, but it works here fine without stripping the new new line here. Then I'm just doing if the file is completed or it reaches in the file, you just break. Otherwise, it's just going to go in the loop. So you have to put in this, if not IPA break. And then I'm printing, trying IPA, the IP address that it read, first IP address. And here's the uh, command for connection handling. Your device type needs to be Arista EOS. And then your IP is going to be the variable, variable IP A. And the username A and password A. So before you try this script, you're going to have to do a couple of things on the Arista switch. You're going to have to configure define username a secret a you also have to go into management and you're going to have to do no shut these are the two things you got to do username password management ssh no shut and that's when it's going to enable and let you run this ssh connection handler you may have to also do a SSH manually just to get the keys installed in the file. So after you do that first manual SSH, you can run this script with IP name address in the file in this variable username A, password A. You got to use this function enabled D dot enable function. This is a variable, so you can use anything here. <clears throat> and 
then you're going to have to define the commands here. This is just another variable saying configure, going to the config mode, go to the interface E1 and configure description from Pi. Let's just say we type demo from Pi, send config set. You're sending the configs now, and basically now you're printing the message saying it's completed. Let's try that one more time. And let's look at the description, demo from Pi. Demo from Pi. So this would help you automate large scale Arista switch uh, configuration when you're doing software upgrades or putting in the configs. You can read it from a file, and again, the file looks like this. It's a simple file with IP addresses, and you can configure your Arista switches through Python. Again, I'm using Python 3 to do this. Python 3 is NetMeekle runs on Python 3 to my experience. So you're going to have to install Python 3 uh, and run that. Use NetMeekle to do this. I'm going to show you the config file one more time. This is how it looks like. Hope this helps.